Hello and welcome to Best Choice Trailers and RVs, located in Irwin, Pennsylvania, 724-864-1449. What we've got here today, folks, is a 2021 Arctic Wolf by Cherokee. It is a limited suite. Showing you some of the features on the exterior, we have the LED lights on the front cap. We have full LED lights on the camper itself. We have auto level which is a feature that people like. It does level from side to side and it also levels front to back. It does have 12 inch stroke, so you can get a lot of movement out of this without worrying about using any type of wood to hold it up or anything of that nature. Note inside the front compartment, we do have a battery disconnect switch as well as our regulator for our solar panels on the roof. It does come with a spare tire. This camper weighs a little over 11,000 pounds the way it sits. It's about 38 and a half feet long. And part of the suite, we've got the full storage underneath. If you note, know, has a lot of potential. It does have baggage doors on both sides. Lots of room, folks. The baggage doors are magnetic, and it is what they call a slam latch door. We do have the lease latch. And another feature is we do have the armored underbelly tank enclosure. So this enclosure underneath is fully solid in panels and you do have heat to the tanks underneath. Higher insulation values. Coming down the door side, we do have a cable, uh, cable uh, outlet and a 110 outlet inside the compartment if you want to do entertainment outside and you can bring it through this hatch so you don't have exterior outlets that are getting wet and in the in the weather going to the door we have an extra large door with the screen door the step above more ride steps and the large grab handle aluminum wheels are standard power awning with led lights and it does have a tilt feature so the exterior kitchen, part of the juice pack, featuring a large extra door exterior refrigerator. Lots of room, probably one of the largest outdoor refrigerators that I've seen. It's got some very nice lighting, 110 outlet. It does have a featured spray port and a movable sink. The drawers are nice and metal, so you don't have to worry about them in inclement weather. And it has the large bulb seals with the large extra insulated door for the outside. Going around to the rear of the camper, it does have the spray port location we talked about earlier, as well as the quick connect for the LP gas line for exterior accessories or grill. On the rear of the camper, we feature an extra storage area here. You can put a litany of things. They do make optional bike racks and things of that nature that attach to this or you can just take extra gear with you that wouldn't fit in the front compartment. You can also opt for uh, the grill or the heater on the outside for the quick connect. Um, and again, we see the LED lights in the rear. So this actually features and has standard a backup camera with 4.3 color screen that is a wireless device that goes into your tow vehicle. That is standard on this vehicle. Coming down the non door side, we have the 50 amp hookup. We feature the three slide outs on this side of the camper. And in our spray port area, we have the six gallon hot water heater, quick recovery, that is a direct spark igniter, gas and electric, 35,000 BTU furnace, exterior work light, you have your hookup station here, which features city water connection, black tank flush, satellite and cable, and you can fill your fresh water tank from here. The exterior shower is a hot and cold shower with a five foot hose. Again, you have the slam latch doors with the magnets, and we are on the other side of the storage area, noting the large amount, full storage across the entire front. So let's go inside, shall we? This 
This model is actually a mid-den, so in the rear we have the entertainment lounge area. It does feature a memory foam, foam queen bed here, as well as two theater seats with massage and heat, and they do have the Lazy Boy feature. Michael K is one of the best designer oversized couches that are made for RVs and some of the nicer features are your window dressings and treatments it's a very interesting blind that they use if you note the blind has the blackout and the clear feature built in as they roll up so you can black them out open them up a little bit or bring them all the way down or take them all the way out very interesting feature this is something arctic wolf has um, people really like those um, you always have USB charge ports throughout the entire camper, as well as very decorative light fixtures. In this area where your entertainment would go, you can get an optional 39-inch television, and you do have the fireplace with multiple settings and a 5,000 BTU electric heat source. So in this camper, not only do we have the 15,000 BTU air upgrade, we have the 35,000 BTU furnace, and the 5000 BTU electric heat off the fireplace. The radio is a driven Furion and it actually has full capabilities of Bluetooth. Uh, you can hook it up to your cell phone. It has HDMI inlets and USB uh, ports as well. Going into the kitchen area, <coughs> we feature a nice glass top covered oven. We have our lit door, uh, lights and glass door, graystone oven. And we have a bread pan oven up below. And an oversized refrigerator by Canon. Between both refrigerators, you're about 20 cubic feet plus. So that's about, uh, about the same size as a residential for what you can put in the camper for refrigeration. The barn style sink with full wooden cover, easy cutting board, as well as your single lever faucet, and you do have a hand sanitizing station built into the kitchen countertop. Again, a lot of 110 outlets in this camper and a lot of USB charge points. If you also notice, it does have a ceiling fan that is a 110 feature. And the lights are blue or white, or you can change them in combination. Um, you have different variables that you can set them at, but uh, they're very soothing, very cooling, uh, very nice for night lights. So uh, you do have a full size table here, and that has four chairs. And the chairs themselves actually secure with the table for movement, and then you have one strap and you can move them anywhere. Note the room that you have for use around the table area, a little bit more than most. And since this is a mid dead bunk model, you have the mid bunk area here, which has a 300 pound capacity top bunk, which can fold up. So if you wanna make it a gaming room or a playroom, we have the couch. It can take another television that you can get optionally here and you could use it for a gaming room. This couch subsequently also turns into a queen bed, so you can sleep up to three people in this room. Very private. Going up the stairs, we have an overhead bunk area. That's kind of a crawl and sleep. It is a full-size queen, and the steps are built in in the hallway area for security so you can get in and out of this area. This area also features an area where you can put another television if you wish. Going into the main bathroom area, we feature a full china toilet with foot flush option, as well as a full walk-in shower pan that's oversized. I'm a little over six foot and I have plenty of room above my head to take a shower if I was up to seven foot four. Uh, this also features a fantastic vent fan, which is a 10 blade fan in the bathroom for a lot of air movement. You have dual lever sink, 
as well as a large area to store in the medicine cabinet. Going into the bedroom area, in the suite as they call it, we feature a full king size bed. We have the storage to your left here. You have what they consider a walk-in closet forward. And you have more storage behind that. What's interesting about this model is, as you come around the corner and look into the forward cabinet, it actually can handle a washer dryer. It is pre-plumbed for washer dryer, so you can also use that feature if you want. Otherwise, it's another large closet. So, come on down and see us here at Best Choice Trailers and RVs in Arona, PA.